All right. So, guys, uh, what we want to do now, we've been running our experiments here. And what we want to do is get rid of that little block here. We now want to try to figure out and explain what happened uh, with our insulator design. In other words, our question here, which insulator design in our class worked the best? That's easy enough, but what we've been trying to get at most importantly is our why. So what we're going to be end up uh, doing today, uh, really simple, is uh, that it's best for us to go back and use our ACES format. Now, I know you've been using this with Ms. Scheibel in, in ELA. We've attempted a little bit in science, but I want to quickly remind you of it's best to plan out. We don't want to just start to jump in and writing, at least not yet. We want to plan out our attacks. We're going to follow this ACES format. And I wanted to touch base with you really quickly about uh, how to do that. So just a quick reminder here. So I put this in our notebook. You're not going to have to fill this out necessarily in your notebook, but notice there's a link right here for us to click on. And when you click on that, that's going to open up a, a one page document that essentially has this organizer for you. So before we look at that and remind you of some stuff really quickly, what we want to do is uh, remember that A stands for answer. That's where you're directly literally just going to write an answer to your question. Uh, our C, remember, we've been over is cite evidence. So what I'm going to ask that we do here is I'm going to ask you to pick two pieces of evidence um, that will uh, support that will back up your claim, your answer you've made here. And what we're going to see E is explain or expand your answer. Here to me, to us, this is the most important part we're going to see. This is where you explain the science behind that. And S, the last easiest part of the paragraph, is usually just a sentence, maybe two, and that's where you summarize or you restate your claim or your argument. So if we go ahead and, and click on this one, what it's going to open up to you to make your own copy is this little uh, organizer right here. So this is actually what we're going to be. Um, I'm going to ask that you input and you fill out, I'm going to shrink this box down a little bit. This is where you're going to put uh, your, your organize your ideas. So I'm going to ask you, this is going to be your copy to type in this box, like literally, what is your answer? Notice I've given you a little prompt here, like, I think that. So we could answer this question in just a sentence, make a claim. I think that, which state, which insulator was the best, and then maybe try to really briefly, why do you think that's the best? So that's just an introductory answer statement. You're literally going to answer your claim. Or in other words, if we look at this, this is actually where uh, we are going to uh, go about, and this is where you're going to directly answer the question asked. You're going to A, answer your question. So in the C box, notice I'm looking for two different pieces of evidence. Um, I'm looking for you to go back and now notice I've underlined here data and observations, or you could use text. So what I'm going to suggest here is that one of your pieces of uh, information or one of your um, uh, pieces of evidence should actually could be your uh, data, your observations. Um, from our results. So what did we actually see? What did, what determined, uh, what did we get for results? Your other one could be another piece of data, or uh, you also can refer to our text from our FOSS web, oops, FOSS web, uh, our, <laughs> our FOSS web uh, reading. Uh, can, is there any information in there that will give you stuff? So. Um, that's just how you're going to go ahead and back up your claims. Now, the most hands down, absolutely, the most important part here is, without a doubt, is the E, where you're going to explain your answer. So here is where you're actually going to go and put uh, and discuss and explain the science behind what you've said. So here's really, like, here's my answer in A. My C will end up being... Uh, some evidence that will help back that up. The E is where we are going to explain the science. So if we go and look, explanation of the text or data and observation we used as that. So can you explain it to the person? Now notice I put here, how do I explain the science behind my evidence? Like if I saw, for example, it lost a certain amount of, of energy, what can I say about that? Uh, why did it lose that energy? Um, can I talk about, for example, can I go back and discuss 
uh, in here? Can I talk about the particles and how they behave? Can I talk about energy transfer? Uh, can I talk about conduction or lack thereof? Can I talk about temperature uh, and, and energy? Um, so these, I want you to really, this is where you're going to explain to the person what you observed. Why did that happen? This is where you explain, as we had stated, this is where we explain the science. All right, this is an important one. And then the easy part here, I think, is the last one, the S. That's where you're going to summarize your argument or your answer. So uh, it's usually a sentence, but you're going to, another way to think of this is wrap up or restate your focus, your answer, but use slightly different words. Another way to think of this is, it's almost like you're making an argument. You're gonna give them your answer. In C and E, you're gonna tell them why and explain how that works. And then in S, you're going to tell them what you just told them. You're gonna bring the reader of your argument back uh, to explain that. So again, our main goal is going to be here. I'm gonna to ask today that we fill out this organizer. So our goal for this is going to end up being really simply, I'm gonna ask you to go back and refer to our data in our notebooks, go back and refer to what we did in our graphic organizers in our reading. And I'm gonna ask you, we're not writing the paragraph yet. Our goal for today is to fill in this information in the box. Like, what would you say for an A? We're, we're sort of planning out our attack because our goal is next class, we're gonna then go and take what's here and piece that together and write a paragraph, uh, ACES paragraph, where we explain and we answer this question. Which insulator design in our class worked the best and 